He drops back. Throws. No! It's intercepted. Injury report. Rock Thomas and Liston B still out. Okay. Hello, boys and girls. I am Flipper55 with Fat Finger Gaming. And welcome to Fat Finger Gaming's coverage of the absurd 32 team playoff for the 2015 college football season. Today, the national championship, number 13, Auburn versus number 20, TCU. The fact that Auburn's here is not really that surprising. They did lose the SEC championship to Georgia, but they played strong, ripping off nine straight after stumbling out of the gates. TCU, on the other hand, they also stumbled out of the gates, but got their offense running through the season. Trevor Boykin leads in passing and, and yards and touchdowns, and Josh Doxson leads in touchdown receptions and receiving yards. It is just a lot of offense on the TCU side, so it's not really surprising that they got here. It is surprising that they're ranked so low after losses to Oklahoma, Baylor. I'm trying to think who else, but they didn't get through it through the rest of the season. So that's all that really matters. And there is the field for our national championship, folks. It ought to be an interesting one. The one thing I am so looking forward to in the next season of the Online Dynasty is I do not have to make changes to nothing. I don't have to make sure these guys go, these guys transfer. It just goes. From here on out, it is just whatever EA says it's going to be. It's so much fun. Such a headache. Is on the field to kick this one off, and everyone in the stadium is ready for this game to get started. The kick is away. And of course, beginning the the season, the regular season, the, the real season that is. Um, obviously, people definitely thought that TCU and Auburn could be in the national championship, and here they are. They come out onto the field. Did not happen in real life. In fact, actually, Auburn. Proof that they really should have been thought about as national championship contenders. Um, they did a lot better towards the end of the season, but well, yeah, not so much. And depending on who you talk to, TCU was close to proving the same thing. Just because of their defense. Trevor Boyne can take and control every now and then. Made him very flashy and a very good pick, but, you know, it is what it is. Good throw by Boykin down to Jordan Moore. So, great effort here by the wideout to secure the ball and pick up some extra yardage. All right, so as promised, let us talk about the actual playoffs, the final four. Actually, let's not talk about it. I just realized there is a light on upstairs. Let me turn that off so that everybody who wants to go to sleep goes to sleep. Man, it's almost 10 o'clock. Oops. One second. It's complete for about seven yards and a first down. He did a really good job of standing in against the rush and getting the ball right to the receiver's hands. Throws complete and he stopped immediately. That's a game of five. That brings up second and five. Hopefully everybody got to bed just fine and went to sleep screaming upstairs so I guess some people were able to sleep he's you taking this ball straight down the field anyway so let's talk about this final four which I think is really really funny so honestly the whole 
dropping Oklahoma back to four. Might be one of two things. Might be, I believe, Clemson is going to the Orange Bowl. It's going to be Clemson and Oklahoma in the Orange Bowl, I believe. Could be wrong. I didn't really pay that much attention. I honestly think my quick answer, my 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 quick answer was it was political. Screen pass. He's got his half back. And they make the stop at the 21. The man defense proves to be too tough against the screen. That was an excellent job by the defenders. They fought off their blocks and found the ball before the play had a chance to develop. TCU is up um, by three. I think the drop to four was more of a... Uh, the kick is up, and it's good. Get with the program. As I said earlier in my quick quick statement, the kicker looks like he's ready to kick I think it was a political uh, a political he's message for the Big 12 to get a championship game again. Um, he's to the 20. And down he goes at the 22. Then the other thing could be since you know it, since brings his troops out out of the field. since the Cotton Bowl would have been a semi home game for Oklahoma, maybe they threw maybe they they threw him into that seed to avoid Brought down around the 21 yard line. a game played that close to Oklahoma. I don't know. Because here's my issue. My issue with, with with the dropping and the jumping is if it was for all football-related things, if there's no political, if there's no home field bias, that they're, that they're worried about if it's all about talent in ranking the teams appropriate to what they deserved as far as what their resume said and the way they looked on the field. What the hell did Alabama and Michigan State show you this weekend that, was, that they were any better than they were before coming into this weekend. If anything, He's taken down the line. you might have knocked down Michigan State a little bit because, you know, in all seriousness, if that's... The quarterback leads if the offense back out onto the field as we get there was not too many people going into that game except for the people who had to try to hype that Big Ten game. There's not many people who actually gave oh, Iowa any sort of props. All through the season, they, all through the season, they wanted to, they wanted to drop their drawers and take a big dump on what Iowa has done. And then it was only when the Big Ten championship, the hype for the Big Ten championship was near, was when you got this whole "this is what I, what Iowa can do" and yada 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 and rah 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 rah. This guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing well. Turns out Iowa almost won that ball game. Probably should have won the ball game. I mean, granted, it, it, it was close enough that you just take out a coin and flip it and see who wins. Yeah, bro. Bro, bro right. The whole situation on NCAA giving us a playoff, but decided they would give us a, a pity four team playoff. Exactly. Um, that's the way this is. That, that's just the way, you know, the NCAA. The, the NCAA, way, 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 way back. When the BCS, when everybody was arguing about the BC, uh, about um, what you can do, this national championship will make this BCS, yada yada yada. He's the an one. Got it. Complete. He's out of Why couldn't you do an an one, which is this fourteen playoff? You can throw it deep or yeah, nobody at that, that point in time. There was not a big play. push a for a multiple season. team playoff. You know, everybody was set in their ways. And so people are like, fine, let's let's just do an and one. You know, let's have everybody play, and the next weekend we'll pick, you know, we'll pick a, a bowl and we'll do it. 
TCU has a three-point lead. And they wouldn't even do that back then. So they had this BCS championship, which didn't obviously include the Big Ten or Pac-10 Pac for the first couple years. Read that defense and make quicker decisions. Or I, I guess it did, you know, yada, yada. You've got to either get rid of that football or check it down. Let me think about this. No, 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 no. The BCS. They bring them down. When they first did make, when they first made a college football championship, the BCS wasn't involved, and the Big Ten, Pac-10 weren't involved. That's where you had number one Nebraska taking on number three Miami, and Penn State was undefeated in the Rose Bowl. That was before the BCS, although it was shaped similar. This is when we started getting this playoff sort of thing. Well, then we just need a national championship. Oh, and that's going to be picked off. TCU looking to take a 10-point lead in this championship. It gets picked off. I think that's John Jones. Yeah, sure enough, Jonathan Jones. Anyways, um, so they got the ball rolling. But yet, one dude, just a logical, easy step of the and one. So everybody called for the and one. We wanted an and one. We wanted an and one. We wanted an and one. And then... They gave us an and one. Nice catch there but, <laughs> but, but not really. Because they announced the and one. The game that's going to be played a week after all the major bowl games. There's Duke. I'll punch you if you overturn this. And when they announced the and one, everybody celebrated. And then we looked at it and we said, hold it. You're, you're, you're just adding an extra bowl game. You're not actually taking the winners of any bowls and putting them together for the national championship. No, we just added an extra bowl game like you guys wanted. No, we didn't. That's not what we wanted. And we ran with that for a while. So when the NCAA decided to get together and give us a playoff, they gave us a 14 playoff. They gave us an and one, the same thing that made logical sense and everybody clamored for back in the early 90s. That would be nice. I think, I think the first real rumblings and moving was somewhere around 1991, 1990. I guess it's somewhere when Nebraska and Michigan both could have claimed national championships. I think that's what it, when it was, when people really started clamoring for that. Oh, too fun. All right, bro. From the 49-yard line, it's second down. Bro, it hasn't added any more drama because now it's just championship. Conference champions in. Um, no, it adds to the drama. The reason why you don't, <laughs> the reason why you don't think it adds any drama is because the SEC never has a upset game. The only time there's any drama in the SEC game is, is basically the SEC championship is, is just when there's there's the winner goes to goes to the the goes to the playoffs. The Big Ten was great, very drama filled. That was a playoff game. Winner of the Big Ten championship went to return the punt to the playoffs, and everybody knew it. The SEC? No. You're just waiting for to see if Alabama would win. Going to be down in the, end zone for a touchback. the ACC should have been. Resident Auburn fan, it was 1997. Nebraska, Michigan. Oh, so it was. Okay, so it must have been the Penn State. It must have been the Penn State. Um, had to have been the Penn State, Oregon. Uh, Penn State. When Penn State played Oregon in the in the Rose Bowl, which was 93, that must have been the start of it. And then really, people really got pissed off at 97. Because in 98, we had the BCS championship. So it was early 90s. It must have been the Penn, it must have been Penn State, Nebraska uh, controversy, controversy um, that got that stuff moving. Um, anyways. Oh, 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 oh. Now I get what bro's saying. Bro, bro saying that um, it doesn't add drama to the selection. It sh. And that that actually, honestly, that is the whole problem. With this whole debacle 
which is they're trying, which is they want to make drama out of like they want the same kind of selection committee. They want like you know March Madness. People watch to see what brackets they get in, what seed are they in, are they out. People watch that selection committee. That is um, that is TV. Or if you're like me and don't really care about the hype, I will wait until the selection comes out and then watch and, and see where NC State, who NC State has to play. Second and thirteen coming up here. Ball on their own forty-three. But that's they're they're just trying to gen, you know they're they're artificially trying to make some kind of um, ratings. And you're right. There is no real drama to the whole thing. There shouldn't be. There really shouldn't be. You know, it, it's not. There shouldn't be. There seriously shouldn't be. You should have a set. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Green is the deep man awaiting the return. Yeah, Resident Auburn fan. I'm, I'm sitting here. I'm, I'm, I'm catching up here. They're talking about. I, I talked about '98. Yeah, and Tennessee did win. And no, that was um. The defense really. Ty Mac. The the it's a peerless price. Yeah, no Peyton, which is the funny thing. Tennessee's national championship did not come with Peyton, which is hysterical. That's besides the point. Second down, ten to go. Ball on their own twenty-six. Ty Martin, not Ty Mac, Ty Martin. T Martin, T Martin, whatever. That was close. He's at midfield. Gains his way Ty Mac, T Mac, Ty Martin, T Martin, whatever. But damn it, he's got a national championship. Now Peyton's got a Super Bowl. Well, it happened years ago, but still. That makes it second and six. Like Jim Hersey says, I didn't want this team built just to win one Super Bowl. You, I hope you never win a Super Bowl in your entire life. Shoot up some heroin. Snort some Adderall. Do whatever you got to do that NFL owners can get away with that NFL players can't. Beat the hell out of your wife. Run over a family of five. Then enter rehab and everybody thinks you're all right. And then just do it all on over again. But your team will never win a Super Bowl. At least I hope not. Not as you as owner. Have nothing against the Colts. I have nothing against luck. I have everything against the owner. Everything against the owner. You unclassy addict piece of crap. Oh, excellent You know, he's he's one of those dudes. He's one of those dudes that you know you're around him and people are all like yeah he doesn't he's got the stones to tell it like it is no he doesn't he's just a blowhard idiot like me <laughs> i mean seriously uh, jackal Our resident Auburn fan brings up the, the the one the argument that I cannot stand, which is, you know, the you know the Lions went 0 and 16. I think was it last year? Or the it was the year before they got Bortles that Jacksonville was completely inept in the NFL. And they started talking about Alabama could beat Jacksonville. No, they couldn't. No, they couldn't. You, oh, <laughs> I would love to actually have one of those games. Just have one of those games. 
and watch the team just absolutely rip them a new new one. And everybody just shut up. It would be an absolute blowout. Blowout, blowout, blowout. Rhythm established, and for such a negative play to happen, loss of yards, that can really have a negative impact on the offense and what they're trying to do. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. I was laughing because when they show summer league NBA games, any of those any of those make shift teams would dominate the best college. Well, I mean, any of those teams are only one year away from being a college. I think in the NBA it would be closer. I think you're right. There hasn't been I think the NBA team would win, but I think I think it'd be it'd be closer than it would be in the NFL. In the NFL, it wouldn't even be funny. TCU is up a field goal. You know, in the NFL, you would actually have to try to select teams. Like you in order to get a close game, you would have you would have to really look close and pick like a like a quarterback that that is absolutely horrible. Um because here's the thing. You, if you want to see some bad football, Third down, five yards watch. There, there are still some um, some minor league football out there. Watch them. And, he throws it away. <laughs> and you will see just how bad teams look um, when they don't have the professionally schemed plans. And the kind of reps that you that the NFL gets you gets to about the 44 yard line, and then you'll then you'll understand just just how professional the, the NFL is, and just how professionally they would pick apart any kind of talented team. The entire defense just collapsed on that run and got penetration into the backfield. Nice job by the safety to clean up the mess. <laughs> Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 42. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Quick throw out to the receiver. Incomplete. Number 89 was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and 12. Fires incomplete, and that'll make it fourth down. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. And our national championship, despite the fact TCU 140 total yards to Auburn 64, but TCU only up three nothing. He fields a punt at the 20. He did a good job there to give his team decent field position. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. TCU. Oh my God. Three point lead. Fired quickly, and he's got his man, and he's taken down around the 40 yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. Yeah, I, I understand. Look, I understand. The seven. It, it, in all seriousness, I know. In all seriousness, the worst team in the NBA is not the 76ers. It's the Lakers. Um, and the Lakers could beat any NCAA team. And they make the stop around the 35 yard line. I mean, if you if you think about it, just think about it for a second here. If a college team could beat an NBA team, that would mean you could do something like 
Rick Pitino did with the Celtics. Or I cannot remember which dude was. I think it was Pitino that was. Yeah, it was Pitino. Pitino did with the Celtics. Basically, what Pitino did with the Celtics is he took a horrible Celtic team, drafted two Kentucky dudes in his first year, and traded for a third. Or they, I don't remember. They may have had a third, the third Kentucky dude on the team. So basically, he had his best players at Kentucky on that team. And you know what? They were still horrible. They were still one of the worst teams in the NBA. Oh my God. This is going to be the first touchdown of the national championship. You gotta be kidding. Martavius Adam picks up a fumble and returns it for a touchdown, and this is the first touchdown of the national championship. All right, so we're, we're still trying to figure out who the 76ers couldn't be. And of course, <laughs> Wake, who is just infatuated with this terrorist thing, writes ISIS. Awesome. Oh, God. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with. Because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game. But the offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. And he's hit immediately. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Now he tries to buy some time. Yeah, I forgot Cam. I guess Cam was number two. I thought he was number one as well. Number one in all of our hearts. Makes it out to about the 40. That's good for a game of 18 yards. First down. Roger, Roger. My game, my game. I got you, Pop. Roger, easy, easy, easy. Rich man. Gets to about the 37 yard line. All right, Trevor Boykin trying to... Oh, and he just threw another pick. Three turnovers. Both upstanding cornerbacks here. You got Jonathan Jones picked one off in the end zone to stop a TCU drive. And now on the 25-yard line, it's going to be Blake Kaunas, the graduate transfer from Michigan, stopping this drive. Got to be frustrating here. For, oh, God. Jeremy Johnson gets crushed. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. They hand it off. God. And down he goes oh, God. At the 18. Third and 28. Peyton Barber stumbles backwards. Oh, man. He's going to use their first time out of the half here. Hand off 
happen, he's met immediately. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. Green is back awaiting the punt. He gets out to about the I lived in oh speaking of Gators, I lived in Orlando for a year and a half. Got to know the Gators pretty well. Um, that would be the real scaly Gators. Uh, and so the, the funny, so the funniest thing. I'm out at a. Um, oh my God! Another pick. That's Whitehead, isn't it? Yeah, that's a safety Whitehead that, that came up with that pick. Four turnovers right now by TCU, and yet it is still only four points. So, so I'm up in North Carolina, and I'm at a, um, a petroleum term terminal right there in Wilmington, North Carolina. And I go in. You gotta check in before I do my little before I do my little rounds around the around the area. And, and one of the guys says, um, "Hey, when you're back in the lagoon, why don't you check out my Gator?" I'm like, okay. Now, this terminal is just you know just gravel. It's just gravel everywhere with a bunch of bunch of hills. Um, basically berms to try to hold in any kind of gas leak so they got different compartmental berms and one is like you know this man-made lagoon so I go by the lagoon and you know being around Gators for a year and a half down in Orlando because they are everywhere um, well anywhere that you got grass and trees and, and water 